Welcome back, crime fighters. This is In Touch with Officer Don and Ray the DA. I'm your host, Jenna McNeil. In recent years, there has been a push to legalize drugs in Kentucky. Those in favor of this idea claim that drug use is a victimless crime. However, that is not the case. Children of drug abusers are often exposed to harmful chemicals, circumstances, and situations. The Courier-Journal out of Louisville just, re just released a story on newborn babies addicted to drugs. These babies experience symptoms like uncontrollable crying, seizures, and vomiting due to their parents' prenatal drug use. While children are the most vulnerable, they aren't the only victims of drug use. Many crimes such as assault and burglary occur when a criminal is impaired. Let's tune in to hear what Officer Don and Ray the DA have to say about this issue. Welcome to In Touch Crime Beat. I'm Officer Don with Fayette Commonwealth Attorney Ray Larson. Out of jail, okay? Don't mess up. And those are the people, those repeat offenders, the ones that go to prison. And I say we're the number one rated radio show in the whole country. Okay. For the second part of In Touch Crime Beat, I'm Officer Don with Fayette Commonwealth Attorney Ray Larson. Uh, Ray, one of the arguments for people that wish to legalize drugs like uh, cocaine, marijuana, heroin, stuff like that. They say that drugs are a victimless crime and that if someone wants to use these, these, these drugs, we should go ahead and let them do it, regulate it, get our tax dollars from that because they're going to do it anyway. Uh, but specifically to the point of it's a victimless crime, what do, you, what do you say to that? Well, they're just uninformed or they're just making it up. <clears throat> um, as a matter of fact, the Louisville Courier Journal, the <clears throat> newspaper in Louisville uh, has been doing an in-depth look at this pill epidemic that's going on here in in Kentucky and lots of other states uh, and their findings <clears throat> have differed dramatically from the claim of these legalizers that drug crimes are victimless crime and they the current journal gives their readers a dramatic <clears throat> and real, excuse me, and real scary look at the real victims of this drug addiction. And guess what? They're the newborn babies of drug addicted mothers. That's who. And they're just. In 2000, there were like 29 of those kids in the in the state. Yeah. Okay. And so far this year, there've been over 700. Now, and most most is attributed to pill usage. What they're saying, they yeah, get that that's right. Well, and you know, alcohol does its part on this fetal alcohol mm -hmm. syndrome that affects children too. But here's how it works: a pregnant woman takes an addictive, illegal, or prescription drug such such as uh, narcotics or amphetamines or any of the others. <clears throat> These drugs pass through the placenta during this pregnancy uh, to the baby, and the baby becomes addicted right along with the mother. The baby's born and is still addicted along with the mother and is still dependent on the drug, but is no longer able to get the drug because the, the baby's no longer attached physically to the mother. And the symptoms of this withdrawal that these babies go through is <clears throat> excessive high-pitched crying, seizures, poor feeding, trembling, sweating, vomiting, those kind of things. And uh, I was talking to a doctor friend of mine who deals with these babies. And he said, here's the tragedy. The tragedy is, first of all, these kids are addicted. These little babies are addicted and it can have kind of long-term effects. Uh, but what happens is <clears throat> a lot of times these kids are crying, won't quit crying. They just keep crying, inconsolable crying because they're in pain, withdrawal from drugs. And <clears throat> the mother's trying to get the kid calmed down and you can't calm them down. So what happens is some boyfriend says, here, I'll take care of that. Next thing you know, you got a beat up kid. You see? And then we end up prosecuting those things. So it's, uh, 
for somebody to say that it's that the drugs are a victimless crime is they just don't know what they're talking so about. So prosecutors are seeing a connection between the, the babies that are addicted <clears throat> to drugs and therefore are inconsolable, they cry all the time, and then the, the, the boyfriend or the father mm -hmm. uh, winds up shaking the baby because they can't get it to shut up. Well, that happens. Wow. That doesn't happen every time, but it happens, and we've prosecuted cases where that has been kind of the issue. Um, I had somebody argue with me the other day about the slippery slope. We were talking about, uh, you know, drug usage and, and how that they, they should make marijuana legal. And when I made the point it's a gateway drug, and I said, oh, I don't want to hear the slippery slope theory again. You know, so everything is slippery slope. But, you know, you dismiss that argument, it's the truth. I mean, the reality of it is you have to start somewhere. And in this case, they'll, often they'll argue, well, alcohol is legal, and it does as much damage as drugs. You're right. You know, people abuse alcohol, it does a lot of damage. A lot of the wrecks we see, a lot of murders we see, they're either going to be alcohol or drug related. Why are we going to add something else to it? Alcohol is already there. We're not getting rid of alcohol. Tune into the following stations to hear the full episode.